If you love to learn new and interesting things about Earth, animals, humans and space, keep watching. We are constantly releasing new content that discusses the strange mysteries and discoveries being made on and about Earth. In this video, we will be focusing on the discussion of tectonic plates and how they impact our world. For example, we will dive into a crack on the Earth's crust that may be causing an ocean to disappear. Additionally, we will also learn about the history of tectonic plates and how a special mineral is helping geologists to identify timelines of when the Earth began to contain life. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be discussing the recent events being discovered. Crack on Earth's crust could make the ocean disappear. Did you know that there exists a newly discovered crack in the Earth's crust that could cause the Atlantic Ocean to disappear by pulling together North America and Europe? But don't worry, scientists have predicted that for this to happen, it would take more than 200 million years. This is what we call a subduction zone, where tectonic plates crash into one another and the larger or heavier plate subducts or goes underneath the lighter one. Following this, it slowly goes back in the crust layer of the Earth and essentially melts the two together. This is related to the scientific theory of supercontinents, which are large, single landmasses of continents that have fused together over time. It's predicted that supercontinents have come to happen three times during the existence of the Earth. Recent research has helped us out to identify the changes that might be starting to happen with our planet, but there is still much to discover about the past. For example, have we lost oceans before that we never knew existed? Therefore, although this discovery is shocking, it's not an uncommon occurrence, but something scientists have envisioned happening for a long time. We can only hope that as we start to collect new facts, we can lead to answers that solve the larger puzzles about our planet and its existence. The Earth's shell has cracked, and we are drifting on the pieces. Have you heard about the theory of plate tectonics? Often considered one of the greatest scientific advances or discoveries in our world's history, it surrounds the idea that the Earth or its outer shell is made up of a bunch of broken pieces similar to a puzzle that are just floating on a layer of hot and weak rock. The theory does a great job of explaining the landscape of the Earth and why there are so many different mountain ranges, oceans, volcanoes, and other structures. Nonetheless, this discovery has led to a series of further questions that remain unanswered about the Earth and how it operates. For example, what might have caused this crack to happen, and will it happen again? Additionally, many scientists believe that if we are able to answer these problems, it might help us on our search to discover life on other planets and beyond the solar system. As of now, geologists have come to the conclusion that the Earth's layer is broken into eight or nine large pieces and five to six smaller ones. These pieces are all moving in different ways, whether subducting like the larger ones or floating up like the lighter ones. Nonetheless, geologists are struggling to place a timeline to when these pieces began to break apart. In doing so, they are collecting extant rocks to be studied in laboratories and evaluated to determine their age. It has been estimated that plates started to exhibit these behaviours over two and a half to three billion years ago. Nonetheless, these are only estimates and are not proven. Plate tectonics began three billion years ago. On the theme of plate tectonics, a recent study on zircons uncovered those plates began 3.6 billion years ago. It's likely that this geologically defining moment truly set the stage for life itself to emerge and begin on Earth, or at least that is what speculation has led us to believe. Zircon minerals are the oldest minerals who have been discovered on Earth and are said to have been formed before Earth's crust turned into continental plates. As a result, studies conducted on these minerals have helped scientists to make estimates on when plate tectonics formed. What makes this research so interesting and important is that it might explain why Earth has the capacity for life and water, unlike the other planets in our solar system. It's rumoured that the first zircons began to crystallise only 200 million years after our planet was born. However, learning about these minerals and unlocking their secrets is no easy task, 
and it has taken scientists lots of time to start understanding their significance. What led researchers to believe that the Earth's tectonic plates formed 3.6 billion years ago is that they saw an increased concentration of aluminium zircons in the minerals. Aluminium being inside zircon is not an easy thing to surpass and can only happen through a few ways. One of these ways being melting rocks that are deep within the Earth's crust. If these findings are true, then it points towards the claim that the emergence of modern plate tectonics did take place on this timeline. With that in mind, research is still not complete and there is plenty more to be discovered and unearthed as scientists dive deeper into their studies on plate tectonics and zircon minerals. Hubble observations suggest a missing ingredient in dark matter theories. Astronomers studying the Hubble telescope observations have discovered that there may be a missing ingredient in our understanding of how dark matter operates. Astronomers have discovered a variance between the theoretical models of how dark matter should be apportioned throughout galaxy clusters and observations of dark matter's grip on clusters. Dark matter has not yet been observed as it doesn't emit any visible light. Scientists are only aware of its existence through its gravitational pull on the visible matter of the universe. Astronomers can however detect dark matter by measuring how its gravity distorts space. This is an effect which is known as gravitational lensing. Scientists have discovered that small concentrations of dark matter in clusters produce gravitational lensing effects that are approximately 10 times stronger than initially expected. Scientists made this discovery by observing several massive galaxy clusters that had been captured by the Hubble telescope, as well as the European Southern Observatory's very large telescope, which is located in Chile. Galaxy clusters are made up of individual galaxy members. These clusters are known to be the largest repositories of dark matter. Each of these clusters are held together predominantly by dark matter's gravity. The individual cluster galaxies are themselves satiated with dark matter. Dark matter in clusters is consequently apportioned in either large or small scales. With the help of Hubble's high-definition images, as well as spectra from the VLT in Chile, a team of astronomers have been able to produce an accurate, high-fidelity dark matter map. They were able to identify a lot of multiply imaged, lensed background galaxies. By measuring the lensing distortions, the team of astronomers were able to trace out both the amount and distribution of dark matter. The team was also surprised when the Hubble images uncovered smaller scale arcs and distorted images, packed with the larger scale lens distortions in each of the cluster's cores, where the largest galaxies reside. The team believes that the embedded lenses are created by the galaxy of dense concentrations of dark matter, which is connected with individual cluster galaxies. Dark matter's dispersion within the inner parts of individual galaxies is known to intensify the galaxy cluster's overall lensing effect. The team also conducted spectroscopic observations by measuring the velocity of the stars which are orbiting within several of the cluster galaxies. Piero Rosati of the University of Ferrara in Italy said the following, Based on our spectroscopic study, we were able to associate the galaxies with each cluster and estimate their distances. Pietro Bergamini of the INAF Observatory of Astrophysics and Space Science in Bologna went on to add, The star's speed gave us an estimate of each individual galaxy's mass, including the amount of dark matter. The team of astronomers studied the dark matter maps in comparison to samples of simulated galaxy clusters with similar masses situated at approximately the same distances as the observed clusters. The clusters in the computer simulations did not show an equal level of dark matter concentration on the smallest scales, the scales associated with individual cluster galaxies as seen in the universe. But what are your thoughts on these discoveries? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.